Dustin, what's your take on this? I think it's crazy that she tried to expose him. I think he's fully within his right to say, like, hey, listen, these are my boundaries. I also think it's a little bit f***ing retarded to date a surfer chick that posts pictures on Instagram and expect <laughs> her not to post any pictures on Instagram as a surfer chick. So, I mean, like, it just seems kind of dumb all around. Um, I, I, like I said, I think he can express his boundaries if he wants. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't seem like he was doing it in an abusive, controlling way. She's within her right to say, like, you know what? This isn't for me. I'm going to peace out. But... <laughs> One of the criticisms I have for you guys all the time is if you go and you pick up a girl that acts a certain way and lives a certain lifestyle, mm. she's not going to flip on that in 180. Yes, she will. No, if she you, won't. If you maxed out the trinity did she of... For him? Did she for him? He didn't max out the trinity yeah, of didn't. status, network, and looks. Oh, He's so lacking. starring in a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. That's, that's one. not outfit. That's one. You. He's, so a guys, okay. He's a flat ass. He's a so what Zerka's saying is, point. if you're listening let, to this let, program, you're f***ing hopeless. Because if you're not as cool as Jonah Hill, who's in fucking, how many All right. A-list 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 Hollywood celebs, A-list motion right. picture I've fighting. got yeah. in wow. my phone. Crazy. Right? I, I got crazy. Hold on, I can leak screenshots of in my phone who have ditched DJ Khaled, Leonardo DiCaprio to stay with me, and I have all the Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many other people in industry? Those girls, guys, 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 guys. guys. (laughs) Let's just draw attention. He did say that he didn't max out the trinity of aesthetics. He mentioned the looks as well, Destiny. He did mention that. So he looks okay. He's passable. No, no, but he's saying like he didn't max out. He he has the status, which you're correct about. He has the money, which you're correct about. But Zerkus mentioned also the looks. I, I disagree. Does he really have the status when people in Hollywood are at his level, but with six packs? There's different types of status that fuse with looks. So when you're competing for these girls, you're competing with like these fucking okay. ripped or Leonardo. Yeah, okay, this is like some. Okay. Cr- so I don't even max. know what the f- we're talking about right now. I'll just reiterate what I said at the beginning because this is going to be true for ninety nine percent of relationships. I don't know what fantastic delusional coach you're on right now, but the reality is, if you meet a girl Fish and she's kill. lived a lifestyle all up until the point where she's met you. She's probably going to continue to lead that lifestyle. You guys even know this intuitively. It's why you stay away from girls with high body counts. Because if a girl's 20 guys by 20 years old, you don't think she's going to stop for you, you right? You You don't think she's going to stop for you, right? So if a girl's been doing surfing shit, she's been posting pictures, she does like modeling bikini shit up until 24, I think this girl was, why the f*** do you think she would auto, like, how instantly she turn that off? How I think she, she was like 24, 25. She looks older. She might, yeah. but I think she was like Chris, 10. Chris, do a quick fact check for yeah, us go, and let go us go know check how old she is. She's ugly, too. But, I think she was 24, 25. But like, okay. yeah. But the, the, the idea that the, 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 the girl's going to change up completely as soon as she meets you, probably not going to happen. Okay, Zerka, go ahead. What's the response to that? Okay, when I was getting canceled, you're so abusive, you took your ex, the streamer girl, at I took her $80,000 worth of trips in six months, and I needed the trips for myself. I was losing it after lockdown. But she stayed in a basement for a year. Him and his wife, he never made her do anything. He she just, so he just adopted that lifestyle. So he doesn't believe you can change someone. 25 mm-hmm. years old. But if Destiny said to Melina, now nah, you can't go out anymore, she'd still stay with him. Chris, pull up her photo She's real Because he's got the... F- he's got the... Uh, no, him. she would... No shot. What? If I told Melina, you're going to change your entire f***ing lifestyle for you know, me? If you said no open, she would stay with you. Maybe if but, I close too, but... But can you agree that if someone loves you, they want to make changes, changes for you. So no, ultimately that, speaking, if she was actually saw him as an option, for example, the top guy, hey, he doesn't like this, or you know what, I'm going to acquiesce to that. If you're trying to find a real relationship and you want something that's going to work, mm-hmm. then in an ideal setting, both of you might be like 90% and you might move 10% for each other. But if you find somebody and you try to get them to change their whole life for you, that's always a recipe for disaster. How many times do you tell girls, like, don't try to change a guy? How many times do you find a guy and you say, don't try to pick up a girl in a club, right? Like, there are conventional wisdoms here that you guys all intuitively know this. And I'm sure you've said it okay. in one form or another before. You don't try to find somebody and you just change them completely. Like, that's, you just don't do it. It's a right, recipe for disaster. Who is okay. higher value, you or Molina? It depends on to who? To you? <laughs> to, to the world. I, it depends on how you measure it. I don't know, man. I mean, do we get our confidence from internal internal or You're external? Asking, so I'm, I have more money, more status, more clout than her, but I'm also like 10 years older than her, right? So she's younger, she's matter. a woman, a she's hot as She's sweeter. Like, I don't know. She In 10 years, she might be more than me. I don't know. In 10 years, she's going to be older. Lower value. I think, I think, Destiny, I think what he's asking is who has more sexual market value in the open sexual marketplace is what he's asking. Who do you think has more? You or her? And here we go as well. And that's the chick. What the f***? She looks more than a Busted. (laughs) That's what the a billion dollars gets. Leave me in skid row, bro. I'll take toothless any day. That's a f***. That's busted. Holy. Okay. Um, wow. Did I yeah. miss the stream where you guys cry for 30 minutes because, uh, was it Jeff Bezos married like a 50 year old girl? Did you guys get over that? I one would cry. <laughs> that if I saw that, I would that kill myself. That wasn't my stream. Oh my but, God. uh, okay. So Destiny, who do you think has more? His question is, who do you think has more value in the open sexual marketplace when we're going to, when you say open sexual marketplace, do you guys mean just a f- or do you mean for dating as well? Okay. If you take her Thank you. versus you. Yeah. Who has a higher SMV in their respective gender? Yeah, no, I'm asking when you, what's the sexual market value for you guys, does it include just hooking up or does it include like relationships? No as well? sustaining. Because in terms of 
fucking mm. a, a six out of ten girl will have more sexual market value than everybody on this planet <laughs> on the panel, right? Yeah. Like if like a thousand guys on a night, and, and but in terms of like getting high quality relationships, I don't know. I mean, well, we uh, could go from a holistic yeah. standpoint if you want to do for, that. For everything we could we could go from the holistic yeah. standpoint. It, it would depend on it would honestly it would depend on how much either of us are willing to change realistically. I don't know if I could find a woman that would be okay with me working fourteen hours a day. I don't know if she could find a guy that's okay with her being in open relationships and traveling and streaming. I don't know. It, I think it depends. The, the girls in your Discord, there's forty of them trying to f you. They would all take the fourteen hour destiny worker. Yeah, but I don't know if I would want to date those girls. Basically, the consensus is. I mean, I think me, uh, Zerka, and Fresh are all in alignment. Like, hey, yeah. he exerted his boundaries. Fantastic. You agree with it as well, Destiny. Your only thing is you can't get with a surfer girl and expect her to change for you overnight. Yeah, which is... and even that's even like I said, like I think you guys have crazy dating standards. But if you're clear with your boundaries, you lay them out. The girl accepts, she accepts, she doesn't, she's right to walk away. I, I don't know why you blow somebody. We're up crazy. Over. Yeah, of course you? you're crazy. Our dating standards are not opposite crazy, pills. We have to think each other's crazy, right? That's I don't good. know, man. You can think I'm crazy. It's all good. No, his pill, Adam took it. He didn't like it that much. <laughs> now check it out. I actually disagree because you said he exerted his boundaries. <laughs> Exerting your boundaries he, as a high value he male. It. He ended it. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. Exerting your boundaries as a high value male means even before this happens, mm -hmm. anytime she so shows any dissent, any resistance, it's abundance. You have more girls. Go out with the girls and say, hey, look, you're really, really out the door. Look how you're behaving. I've got these girls. And you film yourself with the girls. You go, I'm loyal. We're just partying. But your behavior has set it had set this relationship relationship for failure mm -hmm. that makes her come back to you but if you say hey, it's over it's like kind of, what did you invest in the pussy for you're gonna just end it let, let me say this i'll, I'll give my, my <laughs> thing on it and then we'll you know start phase two here very soon uh -huh. um i think the, the the biggest thing here why this is an issue is that number one she felt okay with Le to leak private messages between her and him that's an issue. And then number two pig. is pig. What, I've, what I've realized just in general with and Destiny, I'd be happy to hear your take on it. We live in a world now where if a man says anything or does anything that impedes on a woman's ability to exercise some kind of freedom to, you know, solicit other candidates for some kind of courtship, that's considered misogynistic or narcissistic. But all I think it is, is that you're having the girl respect you as the male. But the thing I've realized is that a lot of women want to behave like they're single while simultaneously having a boyfriend at home. And I think that's inappropriate. If you have a man at home, you should behave as if you have a man at home. And you shouldn't be out or putting yourself out in a certain light where you're trying to attract other potential suitors because the way men flirt versus the way women flirt are two different things. Men flirt by actually approaching women in general and starting a conversation. Women flirt by just making themselves available. And I think for a woman, it's her job to make herself as least available as possible out of respect for her man. But if you do anything that hurts that, Women will call you misogynistic, and men can't have boundaries. Twenty twenty. Yeah. When Myron yeah. says make themselves available, ding, 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 it's a red flag. When it's girls' night, girls' night means our fucking pussies open. R R that's, that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Destiny, do you agree with that sentiment, or do you disagree? I, or like, I mean, like I, I like half agree. Okay. The, I think my perspective would be is that I think that sometimes people in life they'll get in a relationship and they with their boundaries a little bit they like they're, they're not good at communicating boundaries they're not good at doing things that make them comfortable and then eventually that relationship ends and sometimes when they go to their next relationship the pendulum swings a little bit too far and they're either in guy boss or girl boss mode okay where when the partner puts up a boundary they're like no like that like that's abusive like i'm gonna do what i want and people's minds get a little bit f they're not able to communicate how to have a question for you. Yeah. Would you would you agree though that male boundaries in general when it's, especially when it comes to women protecting their um themselves from getting approached by other men or whatever that's pretty much frowned upon. Like men can't be honest with women about, hey, I don't like you having certain pictures up on Instagram or, hey, I don't want you going out on girls night out. I've noticed that that's almost always shit on, insulted, shamed, guilted to some degree. Like women want to behave like they're single even when they have a man at home. And if a man draws any attention to that, women will go ahead and shit on him. I think it super depends on the community. I mean, like the, for the people that defended this woman mainly, if you if you Most look on, that on her are on her side, on yeah. But if yeah. you look on Twitter and shit, it's a lot of like sex workers and stuff who you can tell are probably want that openness more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, the way that Jonah communicates these boundaries, it, he does seem like a little bit insecure. Um, just in the communication style, it probably could have been like the conversation seemed really cold. Although may, that might be your guys' style. Um, so I can understand people being a little bit peeved with him. But I have like, a question I mean, for you, because yeah, you said go. it's insecure. Wouldn't it be fair to say that you're more secure in a relationship by being honest with a girl and telling her what you like and what you don't like and being willing to walk away versus someone that doesn't say anything at all because you're scared of her walking away? I mean, for me, if you're scared of like the way 
I would, I would argue. I would argue. Yeah, the opposite. I think you're this. more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this is not okay. Normally I don't mean to stop I try you to, there, but I'm saying no, no, like, no, I'll do it. I'll do it because normally I try to make your audience uh, endearing towards me, but I'll go full. I'll go full blue pill tonight. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you're not worried about what your girl wears when she posts on Instagram and shit, chances are you know that you're not shit, and she's gonna walk away to the next <laughs> that walks in the room. If that's how you feel, and you're like, I need you to fucking burka up. I need you to take down all these pictures. I can't have you posting bikinis if you go surfing. Like mother, she's gonna cheat on you. She's gonna walk out anyway. She's gonna feel like you're clingy, self, uh, well, selfish, insecure. She's gonna not well, feel it, and eventually shit's gonna well, anyway. That's Oh, I but feel real quick, Destiny, but yeah. real quick.